in the open. That's what the Pacers are trying to, to get as we move forward for the remainder of the year. They really are. And, and, and Chris, consistency, and I think it's important we, we point this out. Tyrese Halliburton did not have a good game. And you've got to be able to develop some consistency with that. Now, it may go just a game. It may go from quarter to quarter. But you've got to find a way to develop that. Pulled down by Levert. One of the things, Quinn, that has happened is the Pacers get the loose ball and the turnover is Indiana's gotten off to slow starts of late. Hey. Oh, yeah, they have, Chris. They definitely a slow start. Yeah, Allen on and Jared Allen with those long arms that play center, but it was on line just a little long. Halliburton was just one of nine against Brooklyn. Now Allen, and he puts it in over his shoulder. What the Pacers have to be more aware of in my opinion, is Siakam is a terrific post-up player and can use his quickness and length to get to the basket. He's posted up and they missed him moments ago. They got him subsequently. Halliburton only had four assists on Saturday night. Now leans into a jumper and hits and ties it. Now they jump it to Turner and Turner's jump shot good. The Pacers have scored nine straight. This is the end of a three-game road trip for Cleveland. Here's McConnell hangs and scores. Nice job keeping his balance in the air. This is what Morris can do, and he hits the three. He was involved in the three-team trade. Friday through Sunday, the Purdue Boilermakers are here as Indiana, the Pacers, will head out west. He's got to help. This is a tough matchup here. Yeah, that's what he, he, he did the right thing. There he goes. And they needed him with the injuries they've sustained. Yeah, he's done a nice job. Here is McConnell, and he beat Porter to the basket in Cleveland the last couple of years. Here's McConnell again. Nice job getting open right, just getting in the right position. Because going in the air, Shot clock, game clock, about a six-second difference. Levert. Solid D. Merrill for three. Yeah, defenses have, have been better. It, but in doing so, what the Pacers have done, Chris, it's gotten to the paint. That's made all the difference. In the last contest, the Pacers had 82 points in the paint. Missed it this time. Look who got the rebound. Now Shepard for three. Another offensive rebound. Cutting. Nice job there by Smith to see it. I think we need to petition Webster's Dictionary for a McConnell. Hold, hold, hold on, hold on, pardon. Is there still a dictionary? Yeah, we, we better go to the Google. <laughs> folks at Google, you go into Webster's Dictionary. Young folks say, what? Going where? 9, 20 to 9 are the rebound totals in favor of Indiana. Come get this lesson. <laughs> Come get this lesson. I mean, I know Port is a good player. So too is a quarrel. And that's blocked away by Halliburton, but then his former teammate in Sacramento, Thompson, lays it in. Over the last couple of weeks. They are seeing that, and that's uh, Morris now has hit two threes from that same spot. And that's in and out, no good. Offensive rebound, Thompson. That's what he does. Out to Levert. He shoots a three and hits. If you're in there with Thompson, you got to keep a body on him because what he will do. Another tough night from three for Indiana. They were three of eight in the first quarter. They're one of nine in the second. That's four of 17. Stop and go. Levert gets inside. 2014 is the advantage, and Halliburton had it poked, and Levert lays it in. We think we got some curly fries. Here's McConnell. Comes right in off the bench. Exactly what the Pacers needed, McConnell. A highly competitive guy, just so competitive. He's got 10 of Indiana's 31 off the bench, count it. That's the third foul on line. Karis LeVert, the Google comment <laughs> about Webster's, and I think you're right. I went old school. <laughs> oh, you went old school on it for sure. Banked in, Siakam. This is, that, that matter to him. Send him up the floor into our congestion. Be a little bit more solid, not going for all his wiggle jiggles that he has. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you. And he has hit three threes now. Here is Siakam, and it rolls in. He's off balance and still got it to go in. Carlisle's trying, trying to get him to see it. And they're already down in the shot clock. 
Nemhart. Dotted line, fires it up and hits an important shot. Get on the concrete. I mean, there was a lot of work around him. Chasers down four. And Garland drops it home. Look, there's nowhere for him to go. Over inside, leaves it off for the dunk for Allen. They're up eight. That dribble drive is, he had to go out to try to cover the quickness of Garland who got to the rim. Pacers have had no answers offensively, but a three by Turner. It was the Bulls that beat the Pacers here in overtime, despite Miles' five three-point field goals. Neesmith for three. Quickly eight points on a pair of threes and a two by Siakam. Garland quiets the crowd. Yeah, he's, he found a little bit of a rhythm here. Number three seed right now in the East. Merrill. Morris is in, and Morris hits another three. Challenge three. Neesmith right on him. Garland gets the handoff, trailed by McConnell, goes inside, lobs it up, no good. Got his own rebound. And Okoro lays it in. Second chance points. I'm telling you, he hit Tristan Thompson and just cleared that space. Now he's going to go back and score. Siakam got it. And that's no good by Garland. We'll end in Chicago a week from Wednesday. Five straight on the road. McConnell. Pacers needed that. First point, second half, TJ. Seven second difference. He got it to him. Oh, he got that one in traffic behind his back to Garland to get it to Allen. I mean, he's got a quick trigger. That's what you got to know about Merrill. He's a three-point shooter. He was chased by Allen. Finds Toppin up. Under counted and a foul. Pacers out in transition. Add to their 16 fast break points. To the left hand, it crawls in for Allen. With a great catch because he's a horrible pass. Siakam. Hits the shot. 19 for Pascal. Oh, without a doubt, they got 95 points. Shot 60% in the third quarter. And that's going to be a basket by Allen. They double team that shot. I'll tell you what, they got this zone and they're covering that right side. Nemhard 4 3. Needed it. Much needed. It's a three. Here's Nemhard again in the corner. Batted out by Toppin. And he was in a bad location, Neesmith. Levert lays it in. They could make it work for them. Neesmith was in that corner and had nowhere to go. And Halliburton with the basket and the foul. Siakam resting right now. In the post, here's Turner at the rim. Recognition by Nimhart. Even though it's at the last second, at least he recognized there was an opportunity. Seven they, they're going to force him to that left corner. Ducks in, off the glass. Halliburton ties it. The former Pacer. Great D. Tough shot. He made a great, he made a great D. Nimhart played him as well as he could be played. He just made a great shot. 23 for Karis Levert. Siakam against Niang. And that's going to be a foul on Niang. After review, the challenge is deemed successful. Yeah. There is no illegal contact by Niang. He stepped out. Prior to Siakam going out of bounds. Yeah. Therefore, it will be Cleveland's ball on the sideline. Garland. Allen. Cutting. Okoro underneath. It's a four point still, lead. Still play. We got to go. Let's go. A tough loss for the Pacers tonight. Yep, no doubt. Siakam gets it ahead to Halliburton. Two seconds to play. Indiana's going to drop from six to seven because tonight New York and Philadelphia make it Miami and Philadelphia.